Hey everyone, I'm Karen Coffey, the founder of Making Agents Wealthy, and welcome to today's live. Today is going to be a fun one. We're going to be recording our 50th podcast live. Just give us a moment to get everything ready and we'll start once my video producer gives me the countdown. All right, Karen, we are ready. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. The Making Agents Wealthy podcast teaches women in residential real estate sales how to earn as much as 100K in as little as 100 days, even if that sounds like a crazy amount of money right now. This podcast is about answering the question, how do I build wealth without the challenges women in real estate encounter? If you wanna know the answer, you're in the right place. All of this information is 100% free. So please subscribe and review our podcast. Hey everyone, I'm Karen Coffey. I am the founder of Making Agents Wealthy and we're celebrating our 50th podcast episode by recording it live today. So sit back, get a cup of coffee and join me as we take an inspirational journey back to what I like to call the greatest collection of real estate success stories in North America. The truth is we love telling these stories as a way to help inspire you to take action, to stop standing still. If you don't know already, in 2008, I was definitely standing still. I went through a divorce, my mom passed away, I lost my home in the same time, and overnight I became a homeless single mom living on the couches of friends. All I had was $8,000 and so I decided to get a beat up old clunker and my real estate license. It took me having a breakdown in order to have a breakthrough. I remember the day that I was in a fetal position laying on the ground in my front yard, crying. Through that moment, I was able to find my inspiration. And when I speak of inspiration, I am speaking of spirit, in spirit. Whatever spirit you believe in, for me, it's God. The systems I teach today were inspired by that relationship. I started writing them down, and today I'm able to share those systems and inspirations to the women and a few good men all over North America that we work with. Now, if you want to create a real estate business that can do 100K in 100 days or half a million in half the time, where you only work 20 to 30 hours a week, then I want you to keep listening to the stories I'm going to share with you today. So our client, Heather, started 2021 making $16,000 a week for the entire first quarter. She is a mom on a mission to become the CEO of a million dollar real estate business. Let's roll this clip from episode 47. I am with Heather McDermott out of Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm going to tell you her story is so inspirational, what she's been able to do and what she's been able to accomplish. So welcome, Heather. It's really good to have you, and I appreciate you being here today. You know, when you came to us, you weren't in the best of places. It was just not where you wanted to be, right? No, I mean, I, I just come out of a 16-year marriage. I'd been divorced for two years. I have three teenagers. Um, who used to be baby birds and are now like three condors. They eat like animals <laughs> now, like they're huge. Right. Um, you know, the expenses don't go get any, any smaller. They just get bigger. Okay. And um, I've been in real estate for 10, over 10 years. And I just realized my business isn't going to sustain me on my own and to take care of my family. So that fear sort of starts to weigh you down and paralyze you. Where were you at in your business at that time? Um, I was like on a roller coaster ride of around fifty to eighty thousand dollars a year. You know, on, on a good year, it seemed like it was always going to be around eighty, eighty thousand um, dollars. My best year was one hundred and fifty thousand, but it was always just based on fingers crossed. I hope this is going to be a great year, and you know, if it wasn't, then it's like okay, well, I hope next year is going to be a better year. And I, I didn't take control of that. And I didn't realize that that's how I was running my business until I signed on with you guys. It was a real eye opener for me. You came to us in July of last year, closed out the year. Now we're three months in. Tell everybody what, your, what, what you will have done by the end of, is it this month in March? Yeah. Yeah, by the end of March, I will have closed 10 transactions. Mm -hmm. um, normally I would do maybe five in a year. Yeah. Um, a good year. Um, and then I, my gross uh, commission is going to be 193,000. Yes. <laughs> I've already doubled what I've done in a year. Typically. In a year, three months in, three months in, what are you going to do for the next uh, nine months? <laughs> 
A lot more. A lot it's, more. <laughs> I'm, I'm heading way high. So I know. I know. So that brings me to my next question for you, because, you know, here we are, 57, 50 to $80,000 a year on average. You come in 2021, you're already at 190000 in GCI. What are your plans? What's your vision? Well, when you, you know, when we were going through our business planning at the end of last year, and I had a goal of a million dollars. My goal was actually I'm doubling that now because I know I'm just ramping up. It's I, I've created the foundation that you guys have helped me create. Yeah. Yeah. And now I, I truly feel like I can double that by the end of this year. You know, what's your why? I'm excited to inspire other women who are just like me. It used to be more for like the money. I needed to have more money. I, it's more than that now. It's so much bigger than that. Um, and it excites me to think that I can can give that to somebody else. Really, yeah. truly it does. So. I, I just get chills all over me when you say that because I can remember, you know, as being homeless single mom. You know, my ex-husband was a lovely person, nothing wrong with him at all. But it was like, how am I going to get out of this hole that I have dug for myself? You know, and it was homeless and living in people's basements. And when I started, there was a level, there was an expansion where we started making, we, my son and I, I guess, started making that level. It was no longer about the money. It was about the options. Oh my goodness. I don't, everything's paid off. Everything is debt-free. And that in itself was amazing. But then I moved into, well, what else? Who else can I help? I am just going to ask Heather one more question. Is there anything that she wants to leave with you? I have no idea what she'll say, but it's up to her. You know, if you're watching this and you've had that moment of self-doubt, um, you've listened to people's words, not your own words, other people's words of, no, you're not ready for this. No, that might be too much. No, that's going to be too much money. Um, ignore it and go with that fire that's in your belly and jump on board. You've got to take that leap of faith because if you don't, you'll be stuck and you don't want to live with regrets. I have no regrets for any of the choices I've made in my past. And I certainly have never looked back from the investment in myself when I've joined this team there. It's invaluable. You will. Um, it's a life-changing program um, in so many ways. So are you inspired yet? I am excited to tell you there is a lot more. Christine, in her first 60 days as a real estate agent, she did $4 million in closed transactions. She was brand new in a brand new market and was told she would not make a single dime in the first six months of her real estate career. So let's take a quick look back at her success story. This is a clip from episode 23, recorded in August of 2020. Welcome, Christine Abbott. She is out of the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. <laughs> so good to have you. So, you know, when you came to us, you were, you had, you had your license or you just were getting it? What was the exact? I, I received my license on March 17th. I started the program three weeks later. Wow. What gave you the courage to do that? So I met with some uh, realtors in my local area and they're like, well, you're new. You don't have experience. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I need some training on how to be a better realtor. And then somehow I found your website. Um, I've always been an investor in real estate for 20 years. And I actually went to real estate school when I was 19 years old, but oh, I never wow. pursued it. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> you have no clue. <laughs> So I thought I have to have something that other people in this area don't have because they all have 30 years experience and I have zero. Right. And that's what brought me to the program. That exactly. is amazing. Now, what was your, I guess your career or your, um, you know, before this time real estate? Okay. So I spent 25 years in oil and gas doing project planning. Wow. So that kind of really has worked out really good for me in the real estate world. Because I look at each house like a real, like a project or each person like a project. Like I'm going to be full circle for them. Yeah. You have a different perspective on your clients. You know, people are dying to know. And I just like to dive in and say, okay, we're going to give them the, the result, what your results were. We're going to give them the numbers. And then we're going to talk a little bit about the mindset behind that what it was that how you were able to how you were able to do that okay so 
used to, March 17th, you got your license. You came to us three weeks later. What happened? I went yeah. to a couple of different companies and they told me, this is the first thing they told me. I probably won't sell a house for six months. And my, my answer to them was, oh, well, then I won't want to do this. Right. And so I, that's when I dive deep into the program and I was like, okay, what do I got to do? I can't wait six months to sell a house. That's crazy. So you did, you know, one of the numbers is that you did 4 million in your first full month, your first full month of, of, of or, or was it over the first two months? It's over the first two months. Yes, ma'am. Over two months. Okay. Oh yeah. And look now, at my board. <laughs> yeah. Look at my board. I, we tell you like, yeah. know your numbers, look at the board. So Christine, what is next for you? What, I mean, what do you see coming down the pike for you? Um, well, I, I kind of see maybe venturing out and growing someone else's uh, brokerage firm to other okay. locations. I, I just, I almost feel like that, believe it or not, I can go anywhere and do this. Yes. I, I don't need anyone. I, I mean, I can literally start this from scratch anywhere I want to live or be. Um, I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> the, the first day that I went to, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> first day I went to a training class <laughs> that you said <laughs> that I had to put my database together. <laughs> I said, I have no one from my database. I have zero. <laughs> and now I have, oh my gosh, I must have almost a thousand people in my database now. If there was something that just, and, and we have not talked about this, but is there something that, uh, if you could say anything to anybody watching, um, what would you leave them with? What would you, what do you want to share? And oh I don't, God. I don't care what that is. <laughs> um, so if you had asked me four months ago, has it been four months? I can't. Uh, yeah. Well, four, <laughs> four, four months. If you'd asked me four months ago, if I would be doing well in the real estate business, I would probably say I was trying. Mm. Um, but now I'm saying I am killing it. I am. <laughs> Uh, people are just amazed at what I'm doing and it's all because of the care and coffee program. I am not kidding you this. And I, I just can't believe where I'm at right now. I really, I truly cannot believe it. I have goosebumps right now. Just telling you that, I know. I know. um, because I can't even explain to you how much I appreciate this program. I'm, I'm going to be in tears in a minute, but, um, I don't think I would be here. This is like a whole new career for me and that I did not think was possible. Every time I hear Christine's story and I hear her results, I get chills because I know it has changed her life and so many others. Let's go back to episode one in a pre-pandemic world. I had the opportunity to interview Kelly in Waynesboro, Virginia. Kelly and her partner did 48 closings in 2019. The next clip is Kelly talking about that journey, but wait until after the clip because I'm going to tell you how many closings Kelly and her partner Belinda did in 2020 using this system. And I have the honor, absolute privilege to interview Kelly Morrison. She is out of the Waynesboro, Charlottesville, Stanton area in Virginia. What was your story? Where was your business uh, when you came searching around Facebook? <laughs> so I was in education before. So I'd been a, a teacher, professor, coach for 30 years. Right. And decided to change fields. And so basically four years ago, I, I left that field after 30 and wanted to do something different. My parents were always kind of actively involved with rentals and my dad was a business owner mm -hmm. and I uh, originally thought I was gonna get into it for flipping uh, houses and I got the bug. I mean, I realized <laughs> that I can help people in real estate just like I did in the classroom every day. Yeah. I mean, I can really make a difference in someone's life and help them pay their own mortgage versus someone else's. And so that's how I got started. Now, how long had you been licensed at this point uh, when you joined us eight months ago? So about three years. How many closings had you had the year before? So I was averaging, well, my first year was only, you know, a few months. So that was like maybe four or five and that right. you know, was only a couple months into it. But then uh, I was, I was averaging probably 18, 19, 20 a year. Um, okay. So, and the average is somewhere around seven. Uh, so I, you know, felt real good about it. <laughs> yeah. Compared to all the other agents in your market, you were doing right. good. Yeah, that's good. So, and we're closing out this, uh, this year. How many have you done this year? Yeah. So you, uh, kind of challenged us from day one and said, you have to look at big picture. 
And I, I think in my original, I said like, I don't know, 35 or 40. And you're like, no, no, <laughs> uh, that's not going to work. And so I really felt at that time could get close to 50. I was like, all right, I'll, I'll you want to raise the bar? I'll raise the bar. Uh, and so <laughs> we did. And so I, I went for 50 and we are two away from that. And, uh, you know, I, and you and I talked earlier today um, and I told you a story about maybe some other buyers that are coming in that might get us to that 50, which I would be super happy with 50 that, I mean, if you can change the lives of 50 people in one year, oh, how can you not be happy? How can you not be happy with that? That is really, really something special. So, you know, life wasn't horrible. You've been in for about three years. You were closing about 20, then consistently, you have done about five a month. Your best month will be about 50,000 in income, I think, maybe 60, uh, if I did the math right in your average. And you ha now have that ability to go and be with family and take some time off, create a machine, leverage. And um, I just think you're just an amazing model for so many women out there and what they can accomplish. And I mean, you have your hands full, you know, life is full for you. Um, and you put meaning behind the money too, you know, the meaning of, of just growing your down. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, well, what's funny about that is, I, I think I, I'm, I'm just bizarre in that case is, it really is, ne I mean, it's never about the money. And I know you run the numbers and you say, hey, this, this, that, and the other. And, you know, right. you said maybe 50,000. I don't know. I just know that I help people, right? <laughs> and, and, and I got a little paycheck and, and you know, in the, in the mail type of thing. So um, I think you have to go with that mentality. I mean, yes, we still have to, you know, put food on the table and gas in the tank and all sure. that. I'm not trying to uh, trivialize that at all. But um, I think you just have, you have to have a reason and, you have to know why you're doing what you're doing. Guys, I wrote that down somewhere. I, I wrote, you know, I don't even know where I put it, but um, know why you are doing what you're doing. Mm. And, and so I, as we were kind of going through mindset and different things, and I was, some days I was like, you know, and some days are hard and I was thinking that, but I was like, you know what? You have to have that ultimate goal. And we talk about vision boards and all those things. And when those days are tough, if you have that and you know, this is my ultimate goal out there, that's what I want to do. That's where I want to be in five years, 10 years, 20 years, whatever it may be, then, and you can see it and you can get through the weeds. So yes. Yes. yeah, I guess that's my coaching coming out. Sorry. It is. No, I love it. Go girl. <laughs> it's all right. Somebody needs to hear it. And that's why I just believe that everything that we say is, is meant to land on someone's ears. And, and I love everything that you shared. Wow, I cannot believe that was episode one. So as I was saying, Kelly and her partner Belinda closed an amazing amount of transactions using the same systems in a pandemic world in 2020. And guess how many closings they had? Go ahead and post your guesses in the comments below. I'm telling you, you won't believe it. I mean, think about it. What were you doing in 2020? Did you take a break from your business? Did you figure it made sense to wait until the pandemic went away? Did you use the pandemic as an excuse. Okay, I hope you've made your guesses. How many closings did Kelly and Belinda have in 2020? Drum roll, please. They did 101 closings for 2020 and currently on pace to double that in 2021. Yes, I know, I love seeing them grow more every year. Talking about growth, Something you may not know that is unique to our programs is that our agents get a ton of mindset work. You see, you can have all of the coaching and training in the world, but if you can't break through what's really holding you back, none of the coaching in the world is going to help you. Skills really do matter. We see our agents transform as individuals, not just as agents. In episode 43, I talked with an agent who was once an overwhelmed mom who had very little family time and has learned to create a business that is able to do 11 closings per month. Let's have a listen to a clip of Jess from Long Island. I am excited to talk with Jess Hollenstein. She is from a small family-owned brokerage in Long Island, New York. Where was your business before we met? What were you struggling with? What was happening in your life? I would say, uh, so I was working with a lot of buyers. I was about five years into the business. Okay. Um, and while I am successful and very hardworking, I think I was working almost 24 seven. 
Oh, you yeah. know, I was just constantly, constantly, and I, it was taking a bit away from my family. Yeah. I have two young kids and a loving husband. And so it, it was a lot. It was a lot on life. I was very stressed. And so mm. when I found you, that was life-changing. So once you came to us, you know, what was it? What, was it? what were some of the biggest changes that you saw maybe right away? So kind of setting a schedule. You yeah. know, I made mornings about me, right? I'd get my kids off to school. Right. I've been reading my Bible. Yeah. <laughs> Every morning I just read one excerpt. So I'm learning my Bible more. And I was working out. I was giving myself some time. Yeah. Oh, as well as there's some, you know, books that you recommend in the sure. program, yep. which I have absolutely loved. It's really built my gratitude and my... Mm. You know, my focus on that morning routine and then jumping into my day. Is it that morning routine where you, how you juggle your roles? Well, you know what? I just decided, you know, it's really important to put me, then my business. And then when my kids get out of school, I can focus on yes. them. Yes. Obviously, I still run appointments and different things. Um, but another thing throughout the program was actually getting, you know, an agent underneath me. Yeah. Um, and that has been one of my most huge. successful, huge, one of my most, I mean, I was able to go on vacation over the summer and yeah. my business kind of ran underneath me and it was incredible. Jess is a perfect example of stop chasing your business. Yeah. Stop doing all these other, when everybody's zigging, you need to zag, right? But you were excellent at that is that you, like I said early on, you followed the program, you asked questions if you didn't understand, but if you follow the program to a T and we're not asking you to, you know, run naked down the street or door knock <laughs> or cool call, <laughs> maybe we should, maybe we get more business. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. But what I'm saying is just follow the things, stop making excuses Make it, make your day work for you. That's right. Versus you working for your day. That's right. huge. That is, is huge. I'm telling you, you know, again, so back to that original question you would ask. So I went from having a lot of buyers running yeah. around rampant. I'm telling you now my business has changed to listings. My mm -hmm. agent is working my buyers and I'm going in and I'm nailing those listing appointments. I've never had more listings. I'm not taking overpriced listings. No. I'm not, it's just changed my whole business. And like, I have almost 11 things in contract right now, as we speak. <laughs> I mean, it's like insane. And Shut my the front door, <laughs> my three, my most three, uh, my three most recent listings all sold for, you know, almost full ask, if not full ask within two weeks, we were in contract. I mean, just nailing it. And again, it's thanks to your program. Well, I'll tell you, so, because you can go in with confidence. You know what you're doing. You know how to win those listings <laughs> and you know how to sell them quickly because nobody wants a bunch of listings sitting on inventory that aren't selling. That doesn't nope. make us look good as agents. You know, what was your hunger? I think my, my family is number one. And I felt like my business was kind of, again, taking over my life. Yeah even though I, again, love what I do. And I have always had a hunger and a drive. I was, you know, I, I've always been successful, but now I'm successful with my family uh, too. Yes. You know, we, we sit and we play games and I put an appointment aside. Like I focus first on my family uh, um, and in so doing, look at what's happened. My best year ever. You are life-changing. Thank I'll you. keep saying it because you are. I love it. Mm, boy, it's hard to live up to that, but thank you. <laughs> and that's what we want to do. That's definitely what we want to do. Guys, I'm not sharing these clips for you to say, I can't do that. I'm sharing these clips with you so you can say, yes, I can. This is real and it works. And it's just a matter of deciding when it's your time. These women are all real estate agents, just like you who were stuck and knew they needed help and found a way with us to make their real estate businesses explode. Yes, it's hard work, but you know what? It works, and there are many others like Christine, who did four million in her first 60 days as being a real estate agent. There are others like Heather, who are making $16,000 a week. 
and there's others like Kelly and Belinda doing 100 plus closings in a year. There are many others like Jess doing 11 closings a month. Seriously, don't take my word for it. Listen to the other 49 podcasts and the stories just keep coming. Guys, these are real results from real estate agents just like you. And if you want to find out how they did it, then talk with us. But I have to say this first, I am not interested in another woman with a credit card coming into a program and not doing the work. And I'm not interested in agents who are not taking responsibility for doing the actions required to create an amazing life and make a ton of money. We have the system to help you, but you have to commit and show up. If you're not committed, then it's not a fit for either of us. But if you are committed to transforming your business or just wondering if this is something that will work for you, then we want to speak to you today. In fact, my team and I have set aside time to talk with you in the next 48 hours. All you have to do is visit karencoffee.com forward slash apply, set up a time to talk with us, no pressure, and we will see how to get you to the next level right away. If we can help you, great. If we can't help you, we'll refer you to someone else who can. Again, that's karencoffee.com forward slash apply. Thanks everyone for joining me this week and I will see you next time. It's been a blast. Thanks for tuning in to today's show. If you like what you heard and you're interested in seeing if you're a fit for the Making Agents Wealthy programs, here's what I want you to do next. Go to karencoffee.com forward slash apply and book a call with our team. One more time, that's karencoffee.com forward slash apply. We'll get on the phone with you for about 45 minutes and get you crystal clear on two things. Number one, who is your target market that you need to focus on right away to make you the most money? And number two, what systems do you need to implement immediately to create the income and time freedom you want? We're gonna help you create a plan. If we can't help you, we'll refer you to someone who can. Remember, in order to build a top producing real estate business, you've got to take the first step in that direction. We have helped thousands of women across North America. To see if we can help you do the same, head over to karencoffee.com forward slash apply. And I'm Karen Coffee, and I look forward to seeing you on the other side.